Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. I'm Chris Ivey. There's a teenager on the surface of Mars, and we've got the details. And I'm Marissa Eckheiser. It looks like the artificial intelligence is going to win a poker tournament. Your CSN News starts now. Seniors, if you have not yet completed your FAFSA, it is not too late. There will be help during our open house, which is coming up on January 26th, and our FAFSA Fiesta is coming up on February 16th. Those who compete, those who complete on or prior to April 21st will be entered in the raffle to win some awesome prizes. Sophomores, you will be receiving your PSAT scores during World History this Thursday and Friday. Junior's call slips will be going out to you this week so you can get your scores. Please be here during class so we can discuss your scores. Tomorrow, January 26th, is the last scheduled attendance and tutoring session. At this point, for those students who have missed six or more days and are at the risk of losing credits, please sign up in the front office tomorrow morning if you would like to attend. This Friday, January 27th, is the deadline to purchase yearbooks. Please pay the $70 at the front office or go to www.yearbookforever.com. Don't miss out on the memories and great book. The ASVAB has been rescheduled to February 9th to accommodate the snow days and the end of the semester change. If you would still like, or if you would still like to take the ASVAB and have not yet signed up, the deadline is today. Please sign up in room 652 with Ms. Johnson. Winter golf starts Wednesday, February 1st in the green room after school at 2. Golfers will chip, pitch, and hit into nets. Winter golf will be Monday at 3 and Wednesday at 2 in the green room under the stadium. Spring golf starts February 27th. Let's get ready to compete. Any questions, contact Ms. Irvina in room 125. Sports Med Club, our shirts are in. Come by the athletic training room and pick up yours any day after 1.30 p.m. Our next meeting is today, right after school. We will be getting our yearbook group photo taken, so please wear your new shirt and help spread the word so all of us are present for the photo. Juniors, if you are interested in attending summer internships to educational program, please come see Ms. Johnson in room 652. There are varieties of opportunities with deadlines coming fast. Attention, all PE students and athletes, all lockers will be cleared out Friday, January 27th. If you are in session or not, please talk to a PE teacher. If you have any questions, or if you have any questions, talk to a PE teacher. We'll be right back after this. Okay, okay, so why is it so important to keep our nation strong and free in an emergency? Registration allows America to conduct a timely and fair military draft. Now don't get me wrong, by registering, you're not joining the military, you're doing what you're legally required to do. You're putting your name on a list of all young men in the country so Uncle Sam can get in touch with you if he needs to. But don't sweat it, alright? There hasn't been a draft since the 1970s. We've got to remain strong and ready, just in case. Not only that, when you register, you keep yourself eligible for important programs and benefits. If you're planning to attend college and need a student loan or grant, if you want to work for the U.S. government, or if you apply for some types of job training, you have to be registered with Selective Service. Selective Service Registration. It's what every young man's got to do. Brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression, so make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is going to be 28 with a low of 14, and tomorrow is going to be 30 with another low of 14. And we're going to have some uh, clouds, pretty static weather here, but we might get some sun on Saturday, and that will be nice. Back to you, Marissa. Thank you, Chris. NASA's Mars rover Opportunity has entered its teenage years on the red planet. The golf cart-sized Opportunity rover landed on Mars on the night of January 24, 2004. A few weeks later, its twin spirit touched down on the other side of the planet. The two, two six-wheeled robots embarked on 90-day missions to hunt for signs of past water activity. Both spirit and opportunity soon found plenty of such evidence, showing the Mars was warmer and weather in the ancient past than it is today. Spirit and opportunity kept on rolling long after their expected lifetime had expired. Spirit stopped communicating with Earth in March 2010 after getting bogged down in soft sand and losing the ability to track the sun with its solar panels. Opportunity is still active on the red planet. 
At the halfway point of the epic 20-day, 150,000-hand Brains vs. Artificial Intelligence Texas Hold'em Poker Tournament, a machine named Libratus is trouncing a quartet of professional human players. Should the machine maintain its substantial lead, currently at $700,000, it will be considered a major milestone in the history of AI. Given the early results, it appears that we'll soon be able to add heads up, no limits, Texas Hold'em and poker to the list of games where the AI has surpassed the best humans. A growing list that also includes Othello, Chess, Checkers, Jeopardy, and as we witnessed last year, Go. Unlike Chess and Go, however, this popular version of poker involves bluffing, hidden cards, and imperfect information, which machines find notoriously difficult to handle. A computer win is considered a milestone. Today's SAT word of the day is inevitable, which means unavoidable and certain. You could use it this way. Given the Cubs' history of failure, the team is, team's loss in the championship series seemed inevitable to many fans. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.